idea of Antiscofo. That's the tool I developed with my team here at Aircom. So uh, my story of arriving at Aircom is a little bit funny, so I'm going to start with that. So I was a teenager. I was passionate about music, and I was unfortunately good in math and physics. And um, at some point, I... Uh, this... Ooh. I saw this video completely by chance. So this is Pierre Boulez. You see... Um, you see uh, musicians. I'm going to turn this away because it's very. Uh, okay, so you see musicians playing with computers, and there is no difference with them. You know, they're interacting with each other, and uh, people are cool. They're wearing T-shirts. There are no ties, and uh, so this is '89. This is a music that is composed for mu music ensemble and live electronics. So um, nowadays. We can make music with computers, we can make sound, synthesis, uh, transformation, all that stuff. There is one thing that computers are not good at, which is interpreting music. Okay, so let's uh, forget about uh, computers. When humans play music together, let's say like this one, there are four of them, each one has his, his or her own score. They're listening to each other, they're coordinating and synchronizing their actions. If they play, let's say, a Mozart uh, string quartet, it's always the same piece, but it's always different. And if one of them makes a mistake, uh, the show must go on, they're not gonna stop, okay? More amazing than that, and computers are very bad with this, especially in real time. More amazing than that, Artists, they write things like this for 150 instruments. And uh, when they write this, they can imagine how things are going to happen on stage in real time, despite all the variations, and despite all, uh, with some sort of fault tolerance. So these are, again, things that are very tough for computers. And of course, when you have a huge ensemble, the story is, is much more different. So uh, with a composer uh, here at Aircom called Mark Marco Stropa, we started the Antiscofo project to do this so that the computer can replace, not replace, but can play with musicians at the same time. That can listen, so it has to has its own ear, artificial listening, and that can react. That's the reactive machine. So Antiscofo is a combination of these two. And uh, one of the technologies we use is the technology that is actually used in airplanes. So in airplanes, so this guy is responsible for the real-time system, critical real-time system in Airbus 380, Gérard Berry, he's in Collège de France. He made a system called SCADE, where what you write is what you get, and that's what you want on airplanes, okay? Meaning that if uh, one of the modules is buggy, you know, you don't want the system to stop and crash. I hope you agree with me. So um, we brought the same phenomena to, to uh, music performance. So Antiscofo listens and coordinates this action, and you can actually define the behavior of the system. It's musical authorship. So this is the interface of Antiscofo. So what can we do with it? So the first thing we did was that we gave it to people who would compose for computers and uh, human musicians. So here is a piece by, um, it's a rehearsal of a piece by, um, Philippe Manouri for piano uh, and live electronics. So the live electronic depends on what the pianist is playing. So the computer is listening, it's reacting to what is being he uh, heard, and of course every time it's going to be different. So I guess you're going to tell me, OK, so what? I don't play contemporary music. OK. So then we did this. So this is um, around midnight. It's in the same hall. Okay. I'm standing right here. It's the same thing, except that we replace all the electronic processes with an audio file that does some sort of a music minus one without the vibraphone. And the audio file is actually adapting to the vibraphone player. Okay. It's called automatic accompaniment, right? And of course, the idea is that you are the master. It's the computer that is going to synchronize to you. And you know, the problem is not that simple because 
the computer should also anticipate so what you're going to. Let's do it again. So he's going to do it again, and I'm going to ask him to change his interpretation. So anticipation is very important here because when two musicians are playing together, they're constantly targeting future. Okay, so that's the ante part of antiscopo. skip this you can find the entire video online so you're gonna say that I don't like jazz okay so um, we won a prize last year by the French Ministry of uh, Industry and in my presentation in the hall there was the director of Orchestre Paris he said yeah let's do it so uh, here's the result so um, this is Ravel's piano concerto the pianist in the picture is, um, is Jacques Combi. So Jacques Combi is, um, Jacques Combi is a student at the Paris Conservatory. And you know, he's playing with the uh, Orchestre Paris. The funny thing is that if we give him just a raw recording of Orchestre Paris, he cannot play because the orchestra is actually changing its pace. So here, the orchestra is totally uh, synchronizing with the pianist. And of course, the important points are these end of phrases. And we don't hand annotate anything. Everything is automatic. We just get the audio file and boom, we go. So now you're going to tell me that I don't play classical music. You sing, maybe. Okay, so uh, this is um, Marlene Schaff. So she was the singer of the French, the second uh, uh, season of The Voice in uh, France. So we invited her to play with the system. So I just leave you. Uh, it's self explanatory. Hey, Jude. So now you're going to tell me I don't sing. And I'm going to tell you, yes, you do. So uh, since Andrew told me that this is a festival of ideas and not things that work, I'm going to take the risk and sing so that, uh, you know, you all sing. You sing uh, under the shower, you know, and all that stuff. So, uh, and you know, uh, you can hear my voice. I would be a terrible singer, but you know, let's do it. So if it doesn't work, you put it on the idea side. If it works, you give credit to me. So um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sing the um, I'm just gonna sing the same song if I can have sound. Let's see if it's working now. now yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, wow. So the nice thing about this thing is that it should be tolerant. Okay, so uh, let's let's see what's what's gonna happen. And you know, I don't know the words very well, so you excuse my uh, silliness and all that stuff. Okay, let's go. Hey Jude, bum bum bum, bum 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 bum, bum 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 b
That's it for tonight. I was waiting for an encore. Ashia from here, Cam. Thank you so much. Thank you.